Hello and everybody. Uh, welcome everybody. I'm Dr. Ruchir and I with, I'm very proud to introduce Dr. Akhila who has secured 23rd rank in the NEET SS 2023 surgical group. And welcome Dr. Akhila to, uh, and thank you for taking out time to talk to me. So first I would like to congratulate you for securing such a superb rank. Something like, and uh, uh, you are, uh, how much time before you started preparing and uh, all? Uh, actually, um, uh, uh, like I didn't take any time. So like I recently completed my final year. So along with my uh, studies, like final year PG, I started uh, like taking apps and uh, I was even solving the LGS uh, mock test even before my final exams in between also. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right. So simultaneously I was doing it. So I think that helped me a lot. Right, right, right. So what are, what all material you are using from us? Uh, sir, I initially subscribed to mock tests and later I found it very interesting. So next I even subscribed to MCQs and then later even uh, classes also. Oh, okay. And your classes were really mesmerizing, sir. Like literally if we see your class, it's like you can uh, blindly take, like uh, mark the MCQ. But well, that is something uh, very, I am rarely I've heard this, but uh, thank you for that uh, compliment from so i'm from hyderabad sir oh you are from hyderabad yes sir okay okay so you might be knowing that i am also in yashoda hospital somaji goda yes sir recently i got to know oh okay. like you were uh, like i think uh, you told this recently to motivate people like don't uh, be disheartened like even i uh, tried a lot of times and right now yeah. i'm doing this yes 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 so basically but I do... yeah sorry I do came recently, sir. I did my post-graduation in Tirupati. Oh, okay. So you are from Hyderabad? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Great, great, great. And so uh, we'll start... I'll start off by asking you that what is your dream branch? What are you? What were you aiming for? Uh, sir, my dream branch is surgical oncology, sir. Okay. I that's... was aiming for surgical oncology all, my, all the time. Right. So where are you planning to join? Uh, that is a question right now I'm having, sir, because I never expected that I can get this rank. Okay. Uh, so right now I had so many choices. I was like, at least if I get into the last seat, it was fine for me. So now you have multiple choices. So uh, it's a worry for you that you have so many choices or a blessing? Uh, maybe both, sir, Ebun <laughs> and Ebain also, because... Yeah, like I, I so agree. When you have a lot of choices, then you're also more confused. Yes, sir. Which one to take? That's a very big confusion, but a very good confusion to have in this moment. So first, I will start with asking you that please share your experience about the preparation journey. How did you do it from how much time you are preparing so that it helps the people to understand that how did you do it so that they can implement if it is comfortable for them? Uh. Sir, I would like to say like simultaneously, if they both read theory and do MCQs, it would be better. And the most important thing people usually skip is doing MCQs and mock tests. And I guess I was, I did a uh, like huge number of MCQs and mock tests. So I think I, that helped me a lot. Right. And even uh, past uh, like uh, four or five days before exams also, I was revising all the mock tests, which I did. Right. So I think that helped you in the revision purpose, I think, solving those MCQs and also revising that mock test during the last few days. Yes, sir. And there were a lot of surprises in the mock test so that I think it uh, prepared me for the final uh, for the final exam. True, exam. agreed. So coming to that, so uh, I, as we have already talked that you just, you are, you just passed your MS and you gave, this is your first attempt. So how will you describe that? When exactly did you start preparing for NEET SS along with your theory exams? Uh, exactly to say, I think this year Jan sir, because all the three years like it was like working, 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 right. and uh, and we don't find much time to read. So okay. it was like from Jan Feb of this year sir. Okay, so you just read the last six to seven months, but you read theory with MCQ, so you did simultaneously. Yes sir. Right. So that's a very good thing. And that is something if the uh, freshers who are listening right now can implement that, 
that not just seeding for theory, if they aim for neat SS, then it is also a very wise thing to start practicing MCQs and read in that fashion so that it helps you in both the exams. So, yes, so what would you like, how did you prepare? Like what all things did you read? Like which books did you read? How did you read? What would you advise the juniors or people who want to attempt again? Uh, sir, uh, like because Bailey 28th edition was released recently. So I complete the whole, uh, whole edition of 28th edition. And uh, Sebastian, I read only few topics, sir. that too from GIT. Right. And later on, everything more was like from apps only, sir. Like I was doing MCQs, mock tests. Right. And videos. Right. Okay. So uh, how many times must... You like you must have revised everything, whatever you have read, because I keep a lot of emphasis on revision. Uh yes, sir. I couldn't revise everything, sir. Like I was only revising the mock tests and MCQ, because right. uh, reading Bailey was something like hectic. I just revised before the theory, and uh, I didn't have that courage to revise after theory. <laughs> right. So you so just kept on revising the questions and the questions from the mock exam. So that is what yes, your preparation was. Yes, sir. Even your notes were so good, sir. It's somewhat like a duplicate of uh, Bailey and Sebastian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So coming to that thing as you have talked. So something which students who listen would be like they are wanting to talk about. But that is my something this is platform is my it's like baby so i want to know that how did my platform or we helped you in your preparation uh sir uh frankly to say in my first grand test i scored somewhere around 250 like that sir okay so later on as i uh, before that i re uh, completed bailey sir but for my theory i started revising and later on slowly slowly even my marks and mock test increased sir so it was simply like, uh, so it was building in some confidence. Okay. And later on, I started even doing MCQs and started listening to videos and uh, it continued, sir. Right. So how did you uh, come to know about Sushita LGS? Uh, uh, through groups, sir. Like right. WhatsApp group. Okay. So you started off with the mock exam, then you switched, like you took the uh, classes and the notes and everything. Yes, sir. Right. So how did you find all of them? They are too good, sir. It literally showed that you put your heart into them <laughs> while preparing them. That's a very kind of you to compliment me. I just tried my best to give you the best content. So uh, coming to other thing was that uh, regarding the neat SS and regarding, for example, my mock exams, I tried to give a slightly tougher exam. So what would you advise student to uh, be bogged down by the low uh, scores in the mock exam or to take something from that result also and then prepare for the NEET SS? Uh, no, sir. It will definitely help, sir. It will definitely train us. Like though, Even though we get low scores here, we need to step up again and don't uh, put down our confidence and hope. Right. So, so I would recommend they should be a bit higher level right so the more tougher it is better you are prepared for this kind of paper especially how they have yes, asked sir. yeah so like right now if you want to advise your juniors who will be listening this or the people who would be preparing for next year what is the uh, message what you will uh, share with them how will you advise them to go about the preparation i would like them to uh, like uh... First of all, they can they need to read the theory, sir, because they need to get their concepts. And whenever they find their free time or whenever they're bored with the theory for like reading and everything, they can just go and practice few MCQs, sir. Right. That would be like I did it, sir. Like it was like a time saving for me. Whenever right. I don't feel like reading, I used to do some fresh MCQs. Like right. it used to both motivate me. Like if I get them wrong. It used to be like, you need to read more. More, right. So I think that's a very good message that even if you're not able to uh, get uh, correct answers in your MCQ practice, also you should take it positively and read more rather than thinking that you're not able to recollect because there are two aspects yes, like sir. what you told and even some students would be like, uh, I'm not able to recollect my preparation. Where am I going? So I think that's a very good message what you have told me. 
so other thing is like mcq practice what you told that even i agree with that that you should daily practice mcqs now according yes. to you what would sh- what should be the strategy for preparation or what should be the strategy for the exam for such paper especially when it is a tougher level exam so the strategy i followed was even i was facing like even my hope was going down my confidence was going down at one point of time i was like uh, maybe i can't do this Okay. So I just started like I left a few MCQs and started from the other numbers. Sir, I was just hoping that maybe I, Some... I know those bits. Maybe I can answer them. Right. So that was the thing which was keeping my confidence, sir. Right. So I tried uh, skipping few bits and doing other, and later coming back to them. Right. So I think that's a very good thing also that if you do not know some questions, move on to the other as other questions. answer them then come back when you are high on confidence because you have answered some of the questions so that is a very good strategy and uh, for example if like even i would not be able to answer this question but if you can you can try how can you prepare for a paper like this year neat ss it's literally out of the box sir <laughs> because but, nothing is directly from the book sir yeah. like only there are few direct questions yeah so it is a very tough thing to uh, answer about how to go about but what i felt was that as a base you should read bailey sabiston next level should be swartz and above that you can just pray that you get a good paper so do you agree with that or you have something to add on this no sir definitely that would be fine right fine sir right so uh, last thing that for the future aspirants regarding shushit lgs any feedback you have for us or anything which you want us to add for the next year aspirants or any lacuna what you found that this should be like that or something whatever you want to suggest us or give us a feedback uh like keep adding mcq is the only feedback which i would like to give us like right. something like a few topics i found that it, there should have been more mcqs right in that topic right other than that any feedback or any suggestion you want to give us and i think so just keep adding videos and uh, a bit of mcq so that will be fine right. so that is a plan actually because i am planning to add image based questions and also questions from shorts and also clinical scenarios so that it helps the future aspirants prepare in a better way so uh lastly if you want to give a take home message to the aspirants what would be what would you tell tell them um from your journey from your preparation from your exam from your results if you sum it up and you want to share a message with your, the people what would you tell them uh just keep working hard sir nothing more than that and the main important thing is that we shouldn't be stressed like we need to just keep on working and right. just hope for the best that's it sir i think that's a very good thing that you should uh, like three dates just stick to uh, excellent success will come so i think that's a very good thing that just keep on doing hard work and uh, hope for the best you cannot do anything other than that yes sir yeah so uh, thank you so much dr akhil i think that's it what i want to ask you and thank you so much for sparing the time to talk to us and sharing your inspirational uh, journey with the students and thank you also for complimenting us in whatever way we could help you so uh, i think that's it we'll end this uh, thank you dr akhila for joining us and hope to uh, welcome to the world of super speciality now thank you sir yeah so thank you we'll uh, end it here and thank you for taking out time thank you so much yes yeah thank Thanks. you for joining thank you so much thank you